Welcome to Centeros the Movie. Do you struggle to find equipment in your data center? Are you managing your equipment using endless versions of Excel spreadsheets and Visio diagrams? Have you looked around for a DCIM tool and found them too expensive? There is an easier way. Centeros was created for data center managers by a data center manager because he had experienced your frustration and needed an alternative. In this short overview, we will give you a taste of what Centeros can do for you. Centeros Capacity Management provides you with a number of graphical views to help manage the capacity in your data center. In order to perform a what-if analysis, it colors the racks according to capacity, so you can quickly identify where there is available space in the racks. Tooltips also display. Equipment displayed in the rack is also colored, so that the capacity of blade enclosures can be analyzed. When new equipment is dragged into the rack, the capacity panel will automatically recalculate the remaining capacity. Capacity management also allows you to identify overweight racks, the availability of power, or problems with cooling equipment. Our capacity management is enhanced by our monitoring module, which provides you with visibility over all your monitored devices. Using SNMP, we can collect data from power devices, chillers, crack units and UPSs, basically any device that is SNMP enabled. Racks are normally colorized according to capacity in the power view. However, with the monitoring module, we can see what's happening right now by opening the monitoring panel. This panel displays an overall view of what's happening in a rack. Inside the rack, we can view a specific power distribution units, current and voltage. Other sensors like power factor and temperature may be displayed depending on the capabilities of the device. In order to view more detail on this device, we can open the monitoring form. Here, we can see the readings and the last time the device was read. In the graphs tab, we can view data collected over a range of time frames. In this case, we can view current readings for the power distribution unit over the last 30 or 7 days. Of course, because we're collecting all this data, we can display it in a range of different reports. Centeros Asset Management allows you to manage assets over many rooms and across multiple data centers. It does this by simplifying the key relationships between the data center and associated equipment. Save time finding equipment by using the simple quick search. Locate equipment using many different fields including asset numbers, serial numbers, IP addresses and circuit IDs. When you search, the rack that contains the item with the specific IP address is located. Opening the rack and searching again, and the item with the IP address is located in the rack. To view more details on this item, we can open the item's form. The Properties tab contains fields that can be customised by the end user, so specific information can be added that you wish to track. Here are some examples. Jobs can also be tracked against each piece of equipment. Easily trace connections for power and network devices. View the source, the connection details and the destination of the connection. Then view the path that connection takes to its origin. In this case, a patch module in a patch frame.
Because it's important to keep your customers in the loop, Centeros Customer and Contact Management makes it a simple task to find assets and track who owns, repairs or is responsible for them. That's why every asset in your data center can be traced to a single customer or contact. The person responsible for an asset can be quickly notified of any issues if they are set as the outage notification contact, which is detailed here. All these contact roles are customizable according to your specifications. A contact can also be connected to many different customers. Service and cabling contacts for the data centre can be attached to that specific data centre. We believe process is very important in your data centre. Centeros Change Management helps you standardise your processes for commissioning and decommissioning equipment. Job status colours the racks by process colour. Equipment that is not yet physically placed on the floor displays as transparent. The legend at the bottom of the schematic shows the job status colours. In the rack, proposed equipment is also displayed as transparent because it hasn't been physically placed in the rack. Our job tasks follow the type of tasks you would do every day in your data centre. For example, installing and connecting a server. You can also move the job through the job process by opening the jobs form and manually choosing a status. So what else can we do for you? We can give you access to reports on any data in the system. Manage the locking and unlocking of racks through Centeros and work with you to integrate with your help desk or asset management system. We've got some exciting modules in the pipeline as we're constantly working with our customers to add new functionality to Centeros. Here are some examples of a few of our new features. We want to make life easier for you and your data centre easier to manage. Interested in seeing more? We use GoToMeeting to give you a more detailed demonstration of the power of Centeros Data Centre Infrastructure Management. This gives us a chance to meet you, learn about your data centre, answer your questions and talk about our licensing module and future aspirations for Centeros. We'll need one hour of your time, not much to ask when your data centre's future is on the line.